Yeah, I think the overall travel sector, it's probably seen the worst. Um, but then again, it, it's, it's a difference between what the sector is seeing and what the market is pricing in. So a few months ago, we priced in recovery in a straight line back to pre-pandemic. That was never going to happen. So then the, the panic set in and all, pretty much all the traffic related, I'm sorry, travel related stocks have pulled back. Um, it's a choppy sector. Uh, there's a couple of sectors in Australia that you learn time and time again. The most obvious sectors very rarely make you a lot of money. And travel is one of them. You, you know, if you're looking at it over a one year, two year period, it's a tough sector to make money in. But they are very good trading stocks. Um, so you have to wait for the discount. And the travel sector at the moment is playing to the weakness, uh, the uncertainty, the weak consumer play, the recession worries, that's all hitting them, high oil price. So all of these negative uh, aspects play, but the Qantas is a protected species. It's a government backed one. So um, generally they toss up, it's one to buy when everyone wants to throw everything away. And you know, if you bought it at the bottom, you've done okay. Speaking of protective species and speaking of government ownership in New Zealand, would you be mm. buying at these levels? Because it's incredibly depressed. Obviously, the, the government has that majority stake. But as an investor, looking this cheap, do you think that that could be a buy now? Yeah, you, you have to think so. It's the, it's the travel sector stocks that nobody wants to touch that you want to look at. I mean, one of the ones that we really like is Auckland International Airport. Um, it's, it's a defensive play on the travel sector. Um, and also, Auckland International Airport is more of a property developer than an airport. So in context, it's actually a pretty good defensive play for the tourism. New Zealand has a pretty good, uh, I suppose, the brand as far as safe travel. Um, so in that context, it should do well. But again, as I said before, uh, even Warren Buffett said, you don't make money on airlines. And then when he, you know, he jumped into airlines and lost money and then he got out. So it's one to re remember, even the smart guys lose money in airlines. So... Um, yeah, it is a really tough sector. I tend to play it through the agents, the travel agents. They tend to be a lot more volatile, so you can pick the cycles with them. Um, you know, in Australia, we've got Flight Center, uh, Webjet, and Corporate Travel. Um, you know, Flight Center and Webjet have been the underperformers. They're probably in the top 10 shorted stocks. Um, it's the ones that I keep an eye on, but the thematic is still negative. When they turn, uh, you'll get a good run out of the short covering.